Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about a new concept which I call custom clawed codes. Custom clawed codes. Now what is a custom clawed code exactly? A custom clawed code is where you kind of edit what you want clawed code to do so that it's specialized in one simple workflow. Now if you don't know, when you first download clawed code, you have a clawed.md file and inside that clawed.md file you will find absolutely nothing because it comes empty, right? Um, so the way that Claude Code decides what to do is it uses its system prompt. Now, traditionally speaking, you don't really edit the system prompt. This is not what this video is about. We're not going to be editing the system prompt in this video. You could take what I'm showing you a step further by editing the system prompt. Instead, what we're doing is we are downloading a new version of Claude Code right? Adding whatever we need to Claude.md, adding any scripts that Claude.md may need to, uh, sorry, Claude code may need to Claude.md. This flow effectively allows you to program Claude code to do whatever you want. And the best part about this is that once you've done this, you can send this to GitHub, right? And then every single time that you get the code onto your computer, the Claude.md file, which is this file here, will already have all of the information that you need. Not only that, but the entire system, so this is Claude code, it'll have any of the Python scripts it may need. It'll even have a .env that you can fill in. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that in today's video. But first of all, I want to show you the absolute power of this um, yeah, of, of this basically. So this is where I'm up to with my own personal um, custom Claude code. It can make one of these websites an entire um, directory in under 10 minutes, which is completely crazy. Now you can see this is all SEO'd, et cetera, et cetera. So if I click on um, this one, for example, you can see this is Depression Therapists in California. Really, really nice page. And then it's actually got the people who are specialized in depression as well. So I just want to show you how simple this actually is. So in order for me to build one of these websites now, because I have this set up, I just literally had to say this one thing. Use this API key for Gina, create me a directory for therapists in California, and then gave it the key, right? And then from just that prompt, it can create this entire thing. Now, if you did the exact same prompt into Claude code without having this Claude or custom Claude installed, it would not build anything like you can see on the screen. Everything you can see on the screen is baked into the custom Claude prompt. Okay, so I'm actually gonna show you the entire process of everything I did to create this custom Claude. And this is kind of the way that I'm going with things now. In my opinion, the power behind this is that you can make, you can basically make Claude code into a specialist in whatever you want. And if it's something a little bit more complicated, like for example, posting this website to D DigitalOcean, you can actually make a Python script and refer to that Python script in memory, where all I need to say is now push this to DigitalOcean and the website would be live on DigitalOcean. Okay, so let's actually have a look at the process here. So I started off by making a, uh, make me a WordPress development website where I can develop a custom theme plus custom post type to then easily import to a host or launch to DigitalOcean, use Docker, right? So I started off by doing this, right? There we go, boom, boom, boom. And it said, no, you cannot develop on DigitalOcean without a domain name, okay, okay. So there were a couple of issues that I had. I worked through the issues, you can see here. So. This is basically a Docker WordPress instance, right? With a README now. And then we can see that it's pretty much done here. And then I said, can you start Docker? So I can see it in action and you know, it started, et cetera, et cetera. And perfect now running. And then I was just trying to connect to DigitalOcean and blah, blah, blah. And then eventually I realized that if I, look, I just added the DigitalOcean MCP. Theoretically, could we design a workflow where you use the DigitalOcean MCP in order to create the droplet, set the route, and then run the script yourself to migrate people's WordPress websites for them? This is where I started realizing that I could actually make a workflow. So this isn't what I want. Currently, we have an almost flawless way to give people what they want, a way to code a local WordPress website, 
and then launch it basically automatically using Claude Code. I want you to study the MTP, blah, blah, blah. I ran through a little bit more. It took a little bit of time here. But then eventually I realized that I could make an entire flow here. And this is where I started to get really, really excited. My mind was just expanding. Um, so yeah, eventually we got it to the point where it made its own Python script, right? In, so we have a .env here, and then you can see this is a Python script. So create droplet.py. I worked through it, and then eventually I got to the point where I actually worked on the website part of things. Now, the easiest way to actually show you how this works if it, is if I just do slash memory, project memory. So this is what peop, this is what Claude sees when you download my GitHub, this particular GitHub. And remember, you can make any workflow do whatever you want. So if you don't want WordPress websites, if you wanted it to, I don't know, find backlinks online or find customers for your business or you know, message people, email people using MCPs. There's no limit here. You could literally just have Claude Code be your virtual assistant 24-7, emailing people, trying to get people to into your business, et cetera, et cetera. All you need to do is have the Python script or whatever, the MCP, to send emails. All you need is a workflow like, okay, so <clears throat> you could, for example, say, make me a workflow where you find a store on Shopify, do a basic um, understanding of their SEO using the Ahrefs API. Uh, you will have to make a Python script for this and then send them an email with an offer to increase their SEO using our tool, SEO Growth, right? So I'm just thinking of examples. So this is another example of a workflow that we could create that would then just work away 24 seven, just try and find people to join our, um, our project, SEO Grove. Speaking of SEO Grove, guys, if you are interested in trying it out, definitely check it out, seogrove.ai. We're gonna be removing the wait list very, very soon. So if you do want a chance to use it, then check out the links in the description for SEO Grove. A lot of people are using it right now. We have a lot of people who really, really like it. We're very, very proud of it. But yeah, basically what I'm saying is you could easily make something that could advertise your business to people, right? It doesn't have to just be making websites. While I'm speaking, by the way, you'll see that uh, it should still be running. Where is it? Yeah, so this one here is still running while I'm speaking. Okay, So this is still collecting information about therapists. And then it sets up WordPress. And then it sets up the directory. Now, the really cool thing, like I said, is that all of this is automated. I didn't even touch this website. I haven't done anything on the back end of this website, right? I'm not even sure if I know the, the login unless it's the login that they always use. Okay, Claude Code always uses the same login, luckily. So you can see here, this is what was all, this is everything that was created. So you can view this, for example, you can see this, right? Really, really cool. Um, specialties, so yeah, nice. And then locations, so we can view Los Angeles. Let's have a look. Los Angeles, California therapist directory that could do with a little bit better SEO. So this, for example, right, this is how I work on this workflow. I can see here that this is not the best meta title. I would actually prefer to say something like best um, therapists in Los Angeles, California or something. Right. So the way that I do this is I go back to the memory one. That this, this is this one. Now we do have 0% compact left, so I'll probably just do this manually. So we'll do slash memory here, project memory. Uh, oh God. Okay, that's fine. And then let's do slash F and look for meta titles, maximize meta size for each page, use words like best X in Y or um, something else to help rank for those keywords, right? Oh, it does actually say that above there. It does actually say that here. This is probably not high enough up on its list of priorities, though. Um, so I say this is essential on location pages, right? This might not work. It, it doesn't always follow every single instruction. If it did, then, you know, we'd all be billionaires by now. So I'm just going to close that, open this up again. And then what you would do is you would push this code back to GitHub. And then when you pull it from GitHub, right? So if I just go here, and let me just show you the absolute beauty of of kind of this, this is kind of what I'm trying to show people. 
Um, let's go on my repositories. There we go. So this is this is the magic, right? This is why it's so damn good, right? So I could be on I could be on a different computer. I could be on a different planet. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> so MKD, look at this. CD, look at this. And then git clone this and then dot. And then if we do Claude here, yes. And then do slash memory. What do you think is going to be in this memory? The entire updated workflow, if I had pushed, I didn't push though. So there's no updated workflow. But you get the idea, guys. This is how I'm building custom Claude codes to do whatever the hell I want, right? This is super, super useful for a number of reasons. And yeah, you can kind of just see the results. They, they speak for themselves, guys. So yeah, meanwhile, this is still going while I'm talking. So yeah, I mean, you can just start to... You can see the idea here. Basically, my idea is to just build loads of directories, for example, and sell them or, you know, rank and rent and all that good stuff. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.